So I've been wanting to do an updated video here for how to clean up a PC. Because Windows 10 is so popular, we have Windows 10 on here and we had fun infecting it. Basically, we clicked on all the things and got everything installed on it that is crap junk and everything else. Now you can see the CPU here, I pulled it up just sitting here without anything open, not to mention these are popping up on the side. The CPU usage is pretty high on this. It's pretty steady high. I don't know what it's doing other than just, it's got lots and lots of junk on it. So these are typical of the computers that we see uh, that come in here and with driver update plus driver booster and all these other crappy pieces of software, boost my PC that don't do anything but annoy you and slow your computer down. And actually they do have a business model. They ask you for money. So we're going to show you how to clean it up uh, using some free tools from Malware Bytes because it's the Malware Bytes has pretty much become the standard for uh, removing tool uh, for removing uh, crap and junk off computers. So uh, to make it convenient and easy, I'm going to find a, the real browser because we also have the fake browsers that got loaded on here too. Uh, so we're going to start with Google Chrome and we're going to open up my website. We have all the tools listed on our website for doing the removal. Oh, and because of all the crap on here. Uh, it's prompting me even when I open a browser, which maybe some of you are thinking, yeah, that's what my computer does. Uh, remove, it keeps bugging me for that. So go to Google, uh, remove. <laughs> it's, it's, we wanted to make it real, so I'm not doctoring this at all. This is all the crap that's on there. Lawrence Systems, you can Google for us. Uh, go here and go to our website. It probably had I, my website does not have any pop-ups, but because of all the crap on this computer, I'm gonna guess that some stuff's pop popping up. Uh, DIY repairs and DIY junkware and malware removal guide. All right, and I have the tools listed in generally the order we like to use them in, uh, with MBAM being last and JRT being first. And you click this so we can download it. Oh look, it's even got something. The download manager wants to pop up. Uh, that's a problem. So let's start download. Let's see what this does. Let's open the file. Oh, it worked. Even though we have some crazy download manager that came with this. So this is going to run the GRT tool. It runs fairly quick. Checking for updates. It will automatically update if there's a new version. And we're going to go ahead and let this run. It's going to take a few minutes. It's going to start killing all the uh, background things and all the junk installed in there. Uh, when I stop talking, I'm going to go ahead and like fast forward the video so you can just see that it takes a little while to run. And uh, I'm just going to let it do its thing here and fast forward it. It closed the browser for me and hopefully it's uh, removing a lot of the junkware. Okay, now the JRT is completed. It gives you lists of all the crap it removed and fixed from here. Registry keys it fixed and things like that. All the places that the uh, crapware and junkware decided to hide. So after that, let's open up the website again and we're going to run CCleaner. And what CCleaner is going to do is clean up a lot of the temp files that are on here. You click analyze. Say yes. Run cleaner. And what this does is when you get to some of the later programs that uh, do the more intense scans, there's less temp files for them to scan through looking for junk. So it's kind of an intermediate step. You could have done it first, uh, but GRT definitely helps knock down a lot of those pop-ups uh, that keep things from running. All right, cleaning complete. Okay, next one is TDS Killer. This checks for rootkits on here. Now this program may not find anything. Uh, it's just another handy one to run to see if there's something in there that's like a rootkit or something in the background. These programs sometimes help mask uh, viruses and cause all kinds of other havoc on your computer. Good news, zero threats found, so we can just close that. ADW Cleaner. This is a handy little tool for uh, cleanup. This is actually a tool that is by Malwarebytes, but it's 
Just good for getting rid of some of the unwanted junkware. It's fast, uh, easy, it auto updates. It doesn't offer any active protection. So far, none of the tools we have are really active protect tools. These are all cleanup tools. <laughs> Right? And what this does is it lists everything that it finds kind of grouped together, files, scheduled tasks, like PC maintenance automation, all this crap that got loaded, uh, specific keys in each browser and services that start uh, for each one. And they're automatically by default, they're all selected. So you just hit the clean, it can confirms you wanna clean everything. And then it's gonna ask me to restart the computer. It's deleting the random folders and garbage and you notice how it's even disappearing some of the things that are running down here because it's stopping them how long this will take of course is all dependent on the speed of your computer and it's just confirming let me know all the stuff that it uh downloaded we're gonna go ahead and hit okay okay again stuff that it deleted i'm sorry okay now the last tool we're going to download here is the malware bytes cleanup this is definitely one of the uh better programs out there, probably one of the best out there for doing cleanups. Malware Bytes really is uh, a solid tool for getting rid of things. Every version keeps getting better. I highly recommend when it's all done. It'll install like a trial version of their security software. Definitely it's worth buying. Not that expensive and just a really great product. Good to support the company. Okay, Malware Bytes wants to turn on the protection. It's installed. We're gonna get to open it up and run it. Check for updates, which it kind of does automatically when it starts up, but I went ahead and clicked it. It's gotta make sure, even though we just loaded it, it has a definition update that it'll do, and then we're gonna click the scan. It's applying the updates. Yep, and we are going to hit scan. It's going to find all kinds of things. This does take a while to run. It's a pretty intensive program. My computer here is pretty fast, so it's going to go reasonably fast. I'm still going to fast forward the video a little bit here. Okay, when Malwarebytes is done, it wants to restart to finish removal. So we're going to go ahead and restart it. And we're actually going to kick off malware bytes again to see if anything was missed. Sometimes we do run it more than once to uh, really try to get this cleaned up. Malware bytes wants to restart again. This is normal because after it goes through, it wants to restart, delete these, and restart again. So it'll scan some more and find some more. And we may have to, after it finds some things, delete and reboot again. All right, so Malwarebytes is happy, and which is exactly what we like to see so it doesn't find any more threats. And it also removed lots of the software on here, but not all of it. Some things may be software that eh, doesn't get flagged as junkware or just things you don't want. And that's where you can go to the add remove programs. And the quick shortcut to getting there is typing appwiz.cpl and it'll bring up right on there. It's faster than looking through the control panel. And from here you can kind of decide like dash lane was popping up. It's a password manager. Maybe you don't want it. You can just go through and uninstall each of the things you don't want in here. But you do have to be careful because sometimes drivers and things like that are installed through here. If you're not sure, err on the side of caution or maybe Google what each thing is. Because you don't want to uninstall anything that's critical to the computer. Now, a couple other things that are on here is now we have multiple antiviruses and like the stupid download manager that was coming up. Some of these things you can click on there and go, okay, they're just things I don't need like Norton Security. Norton's a horrible program, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove that. The irony is we, for a joke, we put um, Norton on here. We're gonna go ahead and remove it, but it's funny, Norton's on here and it just didn't do anything. So people ask why we don't recommend Norton. 
Well, this is why. We managed to load all of this junk on here and screw this computer up. Malware Bytes was able to remove it, but Norton ignored it and let us install it. I think once in a while it did pop up and say, like, you shouldn't install this thing, but you can click yes. It, it doesn't do much of a uh, job blocking stuff. And like so many programs, you just have to keep restarting for each one and start the process over, the run the appwiz.cpl, bring up the control panel and remove those too. Uh, the last thing we're gonna do is we can reset the browsers and it's not too hard to do. We'll start with Google Chrome. So you click over to the three little dots over here. We're gonna go to settings. And Chrome detected that some of the settings were corrupted by another program and reset. You can just hit reset all settings. It wants to confirm this. And that automatically resets Chrome everything back to default. And now there's no more ads and all that popping up in Chrome. It got rid of all the extra stupid extensions that were installed so you can actually search again and not be annoyed by all the stuff in there. Reset Firefox in case you're a Firefox user. So open up Firefox. Click the question mark, open up the troubleshooting information, and you just hit refresh Firefox, and it cleans out all the junk that's in there as well. Okay, Firefox is all reset. All right, now so we wanna open up Edge here and clear out Edge. We're going to go to the little three dots at the top, go to settings, choose what to clear. And I'm just going to go ahead and clear everything. Clear. And this will clear out any of the data in there that was in Edge. Basically reset it all back. I highly recommend not using Edge. It's certainly not the best browser out there. Um, we notice it crashes and just in general has a lot of problems. So this is our guide to how to clean up computers and get rid of some of the junkware and crapware that gets loaded that somehow got accidentally clicked on or came as an uh, extra install for something else that you had on here. Hopefully this guide was used for you and thank you for watching.